The idea that humans must consume animal flesh and excretions, meat and dairy, as part of a balanced diet, is a monstrous myth. There is not a single vitamin, mineral, nutrient, or any other such vital ingredient to health, not a single thing found in meat or dairy products that cannot be found in greater abundance and more optimally in the plant kingdom. For instance, there are more omegas in seaweed than in fish. Over twice as much protein in spinach than steak. Meat and dairy products are highly acidic, fattening, cholesterol-laden, artery-clogging, lymph-clotting, mucus-forming, constipating, difficult to digest, and full of worms, parasites, hormones, and chemicals. Eggs are actually unfertilized avian menstrual cycles, otherwise known as chicken periods. Milk is the pus and hormone-filled mammary excretions of a female cow and meant to nourish her young. None of these animal bits and pieces are beneficial or necessary for human consumption. There is not a single chronic disease or deficiency exclusive to vegans. However, heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and many other major health problems have all been cured by switching to 100% vegan diet. The idea that you need to eat another animal's flesh to be strong is a ridiculous superstition. Some of the strongest animals in nature, like gorillas, elephants, rhinos, are all vegetarians. Shaolin martial monks, arguably the toughest men in the world, are all strict vegans. Our human anatomy is undeniably designed to subsist on plant foods and not on animal flesh. Literally every aspect of our bodies proves we are herbivore, frugivores, and not carnivore or omnivores. Put simply, humans are biologically built vegans. In using comparative anatomy to determine what man was meant to eat, we should look at the species most similar to man. Namely, the anthropoid apes, chimpanzees, gorillas, and orangutans. Of all animals, man's digestive organs and teeth most closely resemble these apes. All omnivorous and carnivorous animals eat their meat raw. However, eating raw or bloody meat disgusts us as humans. Therefore, we must cook it and season it to buffer the taste of flesh. If humans were truly meant to eat meat, then we would eat all our meat, raw and bloody. The thought of eating such meat makes one's stomach turn. We as humans are conditioned to believe that animal flesh is good for us and that we were meant to consume it. Finally, plain moral decency and ethics should be reason enough to end this animal holocaust.